Hi, loves. This is BB Cigar Saint Sister. Come on and enjoy the evening with me. This is BB, Cigar Saint Sister, and welcome to Cigar Saint Sister Official YouTube, where I am cigar and tobacco aficionado, 27 years living the cigar lifestyle, and yes, somewhere between saint and sinner. Happy Sunday evening to everyone. I'm putting some smoke in the air, and thank you so much for locking in with me. I have a beautiful spread right here. And this is going to be a snack mukbang. And this evening, it is all about the nuts. <laughs> all about the nuts. And along with my snack mukbang, I have a lovely cigar here. This is the CEO Pylon Pylon. See that? Sisters and brothers and really many are familiar with this beautiful cigar. I've already cut a night, and uh, this is the cap. You don't need a lot to cut off of it and to smoke it. It's beautiful. Simply beautiful. So welcome to the channel. Let me give you some backstory on this particular cigar, especially for those who are enthusiasts and new to the smoking of cigars. <laughs> I love saying that, cigars. This is the CAO Pylon, Pylon, however you want to pronounce that. And the wrapper will give you either lots of information or minimal information and this wrapper is so beautiful I'm gonna show it to you it just gives beautiful information all around the wrapper so you know exactly what's going on my fingertips are red because my <laughs> lips are red okay so on the wrapper here this is a 5 by 52 this is a Robusto, and it has more information. This was created, I love this too, with the signature and everything, by Rick Rodriguez. Oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. And then it gives you more information. The wrapper is Habano, Ecuador. The binder is Nicaragua. The filler, Nicaragua. Just beautiful. And it tastes beautiful. It opens up very nicely. I took my time toasting this. And so it has a beautiful even burn. Beautiful ash. Let me show you the ash. Just beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And like I said before in my earlier videos, this wrapper and this cigar and pretty much like almost any type of cigar, uh, it just takes you places. And in the first third of this particular cigar, if you're used to smoking cigars and used to the notes, then you will tell right off the bat. What you're tasting. And as you go into the second third of the cigar, that's the middle, then you will start really seeing flavors change if that cigar changes. And then in the third, it tells you exactly what's happening. So 
So what are you tasting, baby? I'm tasting some pepper. I'm tasting cream in the beginning of this cigar, and that's so good. I'm tasting some earthy notes, and the ash is just blowing me away. This is like a stacked ash. I'm gonna keep showing that ash as it progresses. Just lovely. And I paired it this evening with my nut mukbang. It's all about the nuts. And why is that, BB? Because I'm also pairing up some nasal snuff this evening. And I just thought it would be great to have a nice cigar that has creaminess, even nuttiness that I'm tasting in this particular cigar. Just very beautiful in its entirety. Still in the first third. And it's just lovely. So are you putting some smoke in the air? I hope that you are. And I want to thank everyone also too for going over to my second YouTube channel, which is Cigar St. Sister Live, on yesterday. But really today, about 3 a.m., I did live streaming. I gamed over there. I was in the blackjack room. And I did okay in the beginning, and then I just <laughs> floundered in the end. But it was okay. You know, you have to play to win, and then play, you know, and be good if you lose, and then start again. Or I need to write that, do a song or something. <laughs> So thank you so much for going over to Cigar St. Sister Live, and thank you so much for the love right here at Cigar St. Sister, the first official YouTube channel. Now I'm going to put this down. I hate to put it down. But we're going to get started on some more of the conversation here. This is the lovely Smirnoff screwdriver, and I love it. You can get these in the bottles. And they're lovely because it has a subtleness that doesn't interrupt the cigar move that a little bit and it doesn't interrupt anything else because really you don't want anything to interrupt the cigar so here on this platter that I have I have peanut butter and I got these cute little sticks here for the peanut butter so you can dip it and I found these cute glasses at the Dollar Tree. Don't be afraid to go to the Dollar Tree. So this is creamy peanut butter to go with my mukbang tonight. Dessert mukbang. And these are Nikots. Everybody should be familiar with Nikots. They're cute little peanut cookies. And they're so good. And I'm going to give you a little rundown too. They're very crispy, but if we leave them out for a few hours, they start to really get soft, and then they're even more delicious, okay? We're talking about you can really crunch those up in a bag, get a kitchen hammer or just a regular hammer, and put the cookies inside of a plastic baggie and beat them down and make a cute dessert. This is nuts. I mean, I got an array of nuts, and these are by planters. Oh my gosh, what's in there? It's like almonds pecans, pistachios, cashews. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have a little bit more of this. Creaminess. The spice is kind of moved off, but it's so delicious and burning even. This is very vintage 
and inside this is nothing right now but I have a lot of these so if I'm going to entertain or take them to entertain wherever I go these are perfect to put in your array of nasal snuff and I'm not going to get into like the beginnings of nasal snuff but it's just a beautiful way that tobacco has been processed it's just absolutely beautiful I love the whole process of how they grind the tobacco and they make such great array of snuffs and so if you stick with this channel I'm gonna be showing you some really great nasal snuff now snuff can be dipped but I don't dip but coming from a family of tobacco lovers with pipe cigars and snuff you know some people have dipped and some people they do the nasal snuff and for me I do not dip I do the nasal snuff and I always do everything in moderation okay so the two snuffs that I'm going to introduce tonight this is wow assorted nuts snuff and it's great because I have assorted nuts and peanut butter and the peanut cookies and this beautiful cigar that pairs well with that and I'm gonna bring it up close to you this is wow snuff nasal snuff and this is from India and Indian snuff is really really nice I didn't know if I could take it you know because I know it's so exotic and they have really great exotic blends but I was able to take it so I'm taking the top off here and oh gosh here we go I don't know if you can see that in the light, but it is really, really dark. And that's why I'm going to transfer it uh, to let you see even closer. So, this is a snuff spoon. Okay, maybe I... Okay, good. Bring it over here. This is a snuff spoon. And that's the top. If it doesn't have a cork on it at the top then it will not stop anything for a bottle but they're really cool to have when you want to dip um, your favorite snuff in so I'm going to put the snuff bottle down and I'm going to take out the glass because it's so slippery until you set it this right here and I'm going to dip some of that wild snuff in there to give you a better view. Just to let you see the color of it. With the nasal snuff, you do have to refrigerate them. That's very important to know and that's very important to talk about. Beautiful CAO. Simply beautiful. <laughs> so this is the color of the wow nuts. It's very dark in color. It has a beautiful grind to it and it does smell just like nuts. We've been outside so I got something flying around and uh, we all came in because uh, we had a cookout, you know, still cooking out after the fourth. So this is lovely right here. And uh, this, I should put the top back on so you'll see. This is toke peanut butter. British snuff. Roderick and company over at for toke and I'm gonna show it again this smells just like peanut butter it is simply delicious oh I'm telling you a lot of these snuffs are so bad okay I'm gonna take my hands and take that other snuff off because I don't want to contaminate anything I'm gonna keep them separate this snuff smells just like peanut butter. 
within the nose. I don't know how in the world they were able to manage that. And again, I said earlier on another video and other conversations, I don't want to know. <laughs> I like the mystery of some things that are just perfecto. And you don't need a lot of this when it's really good. But that's up to you because some people, they do like to take a lot in a sniff. And uh, people just have to smoke their cigars, enjoy their snuff, enjoy their pipe, however they want to. Don't rock your own boat because of other people. Okay? Just do your thing if it works for you. But for me, when it's so good and once you sniff it and it gets into the bloodstream, it starts to do its thing. It gives you your nicotine and everything like that. Let me have a little bit more of this. This is so lovely. And we're still in the first third of this cigar. So this, the second one at the bottom, that is, see that? There we go. At the bottom portion, that is the toke peanut butter. And it's so, so good. Snuff is not just pleasurable but it's also medicinal you know it helps with headaches tension all of that you know so people they use it for pleasure and you know a lot of people who suffer from migraines and you know with sinuses you got you know the natural snuff you have perfume snuff you also have mentholated snuff and again they need to be refrigerated if you're going to keep them a long time just like you age cigars you can keep aging your snuff just like I showed you in my first video, where I dropped my great-grandmother's big can of two-pro snuff over 20 years old. We're talking about vintage, priceless, and still retains its quality. You have to refrigerate that. And so even though we found this in the attic, it was in the dark, it was in a cool place, and that's just the quality of two-pro snuff. So, you know, bravo to that. So, I take my snuff different ways. You can, you know, do the classic, put it there and, and be done. Um, or you can uh, take the snuff spoon right there. And you can sniff it that way. Of course, that's hygienical, you know, cleanliness is next to godliness. If you're going to do that, you need to keep that out of anything extra. But if you have your own personal use, then just keep sniffing and dipping and sniffing and dipping. And, you know, enjoy it that way. But if not, you know, you need to just take the spoon, put it on your hand and sniff up like that. See, I did a little leaning back because <laughs> this cigar is beautiful. And the ash is so beautiful still on this. I love it. Now, I have a certain way that I take the stuff more than not than just, you know, putting it on my hand and doing like that. I have snuff bottles that I will introduce as the channel progresses. But I had some old snuff bottles that just kind of wore out and, you know, just wasn't to my liking. So I tossed the bottles and I kept the tops. And this is one of the tops. Like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay? And that's the little cork on the back that you hold this way. So, this picks up snuff very easy. So when I discarded the bottles, I kept the tops. And what you do is preferably, you can open up your snuff however you, you know, have it stored. 
and then you can start snuffing. But most times when you keep them secured and you open them up and you put them out like I just did, you give it a chance to breathe just like you would wine. You know, when you open up wine, let it breathe. Then, you know, let the snuff breathe. So everything that keeps it, how it's supposed to be kept, opens up like the ammonia and it just moves off and then you get to taste the beauty of your snuff. Lovely. So, when I dip this in, the snuff comes on this part and then you just put it here and you put it here and then it stays in the cavity got some groove music right now <laughs> it stays in the cavity of your nose it's not to snort even though you can go online or see people they just snort up the snuff that's not really the proper way to do it but hey again whatever floats your boat when you put it just in the beginnings it will permeate through and then you would catch your hit of the nicotine and it will get you where you want to be and so that's the difference but hey for those who want to snort go right ahead I don't do that I just right there right there even if I'm doing this and then that's it and then it just go ahead and does what it does gets in the bloodstream and it's pretty good Ta-da! You need a handkerchief, okay? Now, me being of a more chocolate complexion, it won't look as noticeable, especially the darker brown snuffs, but you still need your handkerchief, okay? And this is a lovely paisley handkerchief. I'll be showing this in better lighting, okay, but we're chilling tonight. So you would wipe your nose for any remnants. That's just the etiquette of the handkerchief. And also, when you're new to snuffing, and sometimes, even if you're fishing out, and I'm not an aficionado yet of snuff, but I'm getting there. <laughs> but should you sneeze and look when you start that if you do it's automatic to sneeze you know so you just wipe the remnants and you just keep going from there I'm gonna have a little bit of this cocktail I hope that you're putting some smoke in the air okay so it's a great pair the cigar, the nut snuff, and the beautiful ray right here. So, would you like to see me and draw a little bit more of the cigar? The ash. This is so beautiful. Oh, yeah. So would you like to see me take some snuff? Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do here is go this direction with this cute little red thing. And I'm gonna go with the wild nuts. See what it picks up. Ah, and it picked up. Can you see? That's all you need. And then here we go. I just did that, but <laughs> and immediately I smell the nuts. I mean, when they say a sort nuts, I'm tasting peanut, I'm tasting pistachios, walnuts, almonds. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so great 
you know, especially for football season coming. What's up? Go Packers. I'm a Packers fan. And cheers to everyone. Can't wait for football season. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. And USC, South Carolina Gamecocks. That's right. And you smell the nuts. So I just put it in one nostril. You could use you go for two. And then I make sure all remnants is off there. And I'm going to go and try the peanut butter and the other nostril there. So see what picks up. Picked up a little dusty part. Can you see? Uh-huh. And then... Peanut butter, Houston. We have peanut butter. <laughs> I'm going to try a little bit more of that. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That peanut butter. Got a little bit more in there. Right there in the beginning. Peanut butter. And then... Touche. Now that's the easy way to do it. For me, you know, it's just more feminine. All right, so then you can pick up a little bit with the spoon. So that, and then you can put it right there. Do that, and then. There you go. And then with the other one. See how it like put them in different. Now it's the same thing. And you can go bigger with your bumps. And immediately I'm feeling really, really good. I think I'm gonna enjoy some of this. Look at the hang time on that ash. Just beautiful. So I'm going to try some nuts to go along with this. For ambiance. Peanut butter. <laughs> That's so good. You got. The fresher. Especially for the peanut butter. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Let me clear some things. <laughs> All clear. Yummy. <laughs> so I'm going to go in again with some more snuff. And if snuffing is not your thing, it's just not your thing. But I enjoy a lot of channels. See? Mm -hmm. And that whiff of wild nuts is just coming through and it's just so beautiful. I mean, they nailed it. Wow, nuts. Indian snuff. Nailed it. A little bit of peanut butter. It's 
straight peanut butter. And then the nuts. That just help enhance it even more. I should have some pretzels too, like a soft pretzel with some mustard. That really would have been good too. Guess I should have told y'all to eat too, huh? Snack it up. This is also great too with peanut butter ice cream too. And I got some when I was like with a cocktail. It's not right now. So good. Peanuts. Almonds. And they're good for you now. Protein. Mmm. And pistachios. Mm. <laughs> Some more peanut butter. Look at there. So good. So on the Cigar Say Sister live channel, I'm going to be live tonight. I did say 2 a.m., but it might be 3 a.m. But if it changes, just go on over to the channel and you see the time change. I'm going to be on the roulette table by Azorba Games, so come on over. Well, that was great. That was fun. Thanks so much for locking in with me, BB Cigara Saint Sister.